At 6 o'clock, protesters starting to gather right now in Salt Lake after the district attorney rules the officers who shot and killed armed robbery suspect Bernardo Palacios Carvajal were justified. The desire to retrieve the gun was greater than the desire to run away. But the Palacios family disagrees, saying he was running away because he was afraid for his life. He had every opportunity to use deadly force, meaning Mr. Bernardo did, to turn his gun, but he chose not to. He continued to run away. His clear intention that day was to run away. The officers will not be charged. That was the message from the Salt Lake County District Attorney, Sim Gill. This after weeks of protests calling for justice for Bernardo, with many questioning why officers would fire when the suspect was running away. We have team coverage of today's ruling. We start with new specialist Lad Egan, who was there with the DA when he spent 75 minutes explaining his decision. Yeah, this body camera video, we all remember it sparked outrage as it showed Palacios being shot in the back. But the district attorney says that the police officers felt threatened and believed that at any moment Palacios could turn around and fire at them. Falls down here, the gun is dropped, it falls out of his hands again, picks it up. It took District Attorney Sim Gill more than an hour to explain his office's investigation, finding that officers were legally justified in shooting Bernardo Palacios Carbajal. We declined to file criminal charges against either officer for his use of deadly force. The incident started when someone called police at 2 a.m. on May 23rd to report they had been robbed at gunpoint. As officers arrived, they got word that a different person at the Utah Village Motel on 900 South called dispatch to also report that they'd been robbed at gunpoint. That's when police spotted 22-year-old Palacios in the parking lot. He ran away, falling three times, dropping a gun several times. This was the handgun that was recovered uh, at the scene. Gill said that part of his decision was based on Palacios appearing more concerned with keeping his gun than getting away and that officers didn't decide to shoot until they confirmed that Palacios had a gun. Once he saw the gun and the gun was being picked up and he brought to the, uh, to the front of his body from their perspectives, they were uh, concerned that at that moment that, they, that he, they could get shot and at that moment, they had made that decision. Gill said officers were also justified in shooting Palacios again once he was on the ground because he rolled onto his back and lifted his arm, holding a gun. During the investigation, officers also told investigators they were worried about the public. From him taking a hostage, carjacking somebody, making them drive somewhere, shooting another officer, allowing somebody to run into a house for hostages to barricade himself, it really makes the entire situation extremely dangerous for everybody. We learned today in this final report that police fired a total of 34 times. The preliminary autopsy, though, showed that Palacio had 13 to 15 wounds, and it's not clear if one bullet could have caused more than one wound. And, Dini, even though no criminal charges will be filed, this case still moves to the uh, Civilian Review Board and the internal review there at the police department. All right, Lad, thank you.